We will start with the chapter 1, Atomic Structure, and in the first section, we will be talking about atoms. First of all, and before we start talking about atoms, let's take a fast look at things around us and think about the substances they are made from. For example, in the room I'm sitting in, there's a wooden chair, a plastic bottle, a glass cup, and so many other different products and things. There are actually millions of different substances surrounding us. Some of them we use in our daily life, others, for example, are used in workplace or in schools. However, there is one common thing between all these substances, and it is that they are made up of tiny particles which are called atoms. There are about 100 different types of atoms found naturally on Earth. These atoms combine in a huge variety of ways to give all those different substances that we use. Now we will introduce a new term, the element. So a relatively small number of substances is made up of only one type of atoms and these substances are called elements. And because there are only about 100 different types of atoms, there are only about 100 different elements. So an atom is the smallest part of an element that can exist. These hundred elements are not the same. Actually, they have different properties. For example, some elements are shiny solid metals such as gold, copper, silver, chromium, and others, while other elements are non-metals and they are gases at room temperature such as argon, helium, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Let's take a look now at the names of elements. Actually, the name of an element depends on the language being spoken. For example, this is the element sulfur, which is called Schwefel in German and Azufri in Spanish. As we know, scientists from different and many nations communicate with each other and publish their findings. So there must be a way for them to communicate and understand each other, especially if they are using the names of elements. Fortunately, there are symbols of elements that all nationalities can understand, and these symbols are shown in the periodic table. So here is the periodic table showing the symbols of elements. For example, a capital letter C represents everywhere and at any time the element carbon. A capital letter O will represent the element oxygen, and calcium, for example, is represented with the symbol CA.